Michelin has always believed in being a good corporate partner as well as being a very active member of the communities we serve. Michelin has been an active member of Upstate of South Carolina since the early 70s where we opened our first manufacturing facilities. We have over nine facilities throughout the state and almost 10,000 employees. So at Michelin, we aim to live in harmony within the communities where we serve. And we do this by living out our purpose, which is to provide a better way forward for our employees, our customers, and the communities in which we serve. In 2019, I'm happy to say we celebrated our 10-year anniversary of a program we call Michelin Challenge Education. This program is centered around partnering with Title I schools within the communities that we serve, and we do many different things that include mentoring, tutoring, providing support services to those students. Another program that we're proud of is our workforce development program where we look to invest into the talent today and tomorrow for our workforce. And those programs include our internships and our co-ops, as well as two very successful programs. One we call the Michelin Tech Scholars Program, as well as the Michelin Apprenticeship Program where we provide opportunities for individuals in our manufacturing facilities to gain access with our company and start off with a great career. It feels great to work for a company that I know shares many of the values that I personally hold and we do that by using measurable metrics and so we actually record and report the number of volunteer hours that all our employees work with these different programs and we're proud of that and these programs range from as I said working in our community with educational programs, working with our workforce development or working with some of our initiatives with United Way and other charitable organizations. Okay, back with our next woman of influence, and that is Jennifer Stilwell. And Jennifer is the Executive Vice President and Chief Marketing Officer at Visit Greenville SC. Yeah, that Greenville. Uh, I think everybody knows what Visit Greenville does. Visit Greenville is in charge of promoting our Greenville really all over the world in any way that they do it. And I tell you, they have been really successful. I think Jennifer is responsible, or partly responsible, her and her folks, for turning Greenville from a hidden gem into what it is today, and I can't make up my mind if I'm happy about that way, uh, but I like them both. I'll give a round of applause to Jennifer Stilwell. <laughs> Jennifer, congratulations for being a woman of influence. Here's your award. Pick it up, let's get a couple photos. All right, and we're gonna get a photo right there. back over here with Jennifer Stilwell of Visit Greenville SC. I absolutely love being a Greenville resident and I love the fact that people from all over the world want to come and visit Greenville as well. Talk about the value of tourism here and why that's so important. Um, first, let me say that I think I have the best job in all of Greenville. Yeah. Uh, I have the opportunity and the responsibility to market, sell, and promote the destination. Mm -hmm. And what's really important to understand about tourism is a travel promotion strategy is a definitive path to positive economic development for okay. a community. Yeah. Um, in Greenville, South Carolina today, tourism is worth $1.3 billion, that industry. And so what happens is visitors come and they spend in our community, they stay in our hotels, they eat in our restaurants, they shop in our stores, they go to our attractions, they um, go in our art galleries, they go on things like the uh, Swamp Rabbit Trail, and that visitor spending ultimately impacts all of us. It generates new tax revenue every single day. It's the only source of new tax revenue generation in our community. It saves all of us more than $1,000 annually in taxes. It supports too. over 11,000 jobs in our community, um, over $290 million in annual wages and salaries. So there's a really direct economic benefit. And we additionally benefit from our quality of life because our civic leaders in the city and county councils, they invest into our quality of life through some of those revenue streams that come in through accommodations tax or hospitality tax. So um, it's purposeful growth, 
but it's also very meaningful growth for our community and that we as residents all benefit from the tourists who come and visit. That's all we're asking them to do is come make a visit and then they return back home to their communities. And we certainly see that they're not disappointed because they're coming back. Correct. Which it, is a great a thing. A fact, 97% of all people who come and visit Greenville would recommend Greenville to um, their friends and family, which none of us in Greenville would um, ever doubt that figure, no. right? I mean, but that's an incredibly high uh, confidence rate in our community. It's a great stat. Well, it's very clear to see why you were selected as a woman of influence. Congratulations. Thank you so much for the honor. Really appreciate it. And congratulations to all the people that you are recognizing today. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you. Rick, we're going to send it back to you.